In this video, I'll show you how to create this interactive YouTube subscribe button in Figma in less than five minutes. Let's get started. This right here are two screenshots of the YouTube subscribe button. So first of all, I'm gonna select the text tool and create a text that says subscribe. I need to change the font to Roboto. If you don't have the font Roboto installed on your computer, make sure to visit fonts.google.com to download it for free. So we will go for Roboto. I think we're looking at semi-bold. We just have to match the size. I think this will be 24. We're gonna center that to the left. And I think we, yeah, this is close enough, right? So we have the Roboto semi-bold, it's gonna be white. And also we need to measure the height and width of this button. So it looks to be about 63 pixels tall. And if we measure the width, it appears to be 192 pixels wide. So let's use the rectangle tool by pressing R and specify 192 and 63, right? Let's take these two objects, center them against one another, select the rectangle and press command option left bracket to move that into the background. And you can see that it has these rounded corners right here. So I'm just gonna try and approximate the value. This appears to be four or three, something like that. And now I'm just gonna sample the color. Same thing here. So this will be way easier because we just, you can see that we have 28 or 29 pixels from the sides. Let's keep that to 28, right? So the next thing we're gonna do in this state is just say subscribe and then just make sure this is, this padding right here is 28, which means we'll have to add 16 pixels. I'm gonna go here and type in plus 16. Next thing, sample the color and also right here, sample the color. So we have these two states. I'm just gonna change the background to white so that we can see that better. Next step would be choosing the left one, grouping it and the right one grouping it as well. Now make sure that these names of these layers match so i'm gonna just change that to text both of these right text text and then i'm just gonna select these two rectangles command r and then rename them to background right so we have two groups that have ident identically named elements within them next step would be selecting both of these and going over here to create a component set. Brilliant, we have a component set. We're gonna rename this component to subscribe button. And then we're gonna select this whole thing, go to here and rename the property state. And select the first one and type in default, right? So we have the default state, we have subscribed. And I, I think we could do one slight improvement that means creating an in-between state that will be called pressed down and what we're going to do here is select this variant press enter press k to access the scale tool then shrink it just a tiny bit move it over here and change the color to slightly darker red right like this and now we are ready for the prototyping which means going to prototype over here, selecting this little circle on the right side of the default state, connecting that to the press down state and say, while pressing, change to state press down. Smart animate is out and we're gonna set this to 150 milliseconds. Next step would be selecting the middle variant, again, connecting this node to the last state and the final adjustment would be choosing this connection right here this interaction detail and then over here actually change that from bouncy to custom spring and we're gonna just make sure this takes about one second right something between 900 and 1000 milliseconds should work right so um, if it happens if the bouncing happens too fast it looks quite confusing and the last thing we're gonna do is create a test frame this test frame is gonna have 800 pixels, and 500 pixels, name this test frame, and then going to assets, click and drag the subscribe button, center it against the background, and launch the prototype. And this is the result. We have the subscribe button, we click it, hold it press down, and then release, and it bounces like this. It's good to mention that the blinking color is actually unintentional, but Looking at this now, I think we could, we should, we should keep it. I kind of like that. So here's the final result. 
we have a press down state, we have a bounce interaction, and we could even make this one a little bit faster. So instead of 900 milliseconds, we could go for like 8, 750, something like that. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's, I think that's better. So here it is. That's the interactive subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to do this on my channel right now and leave a like if you'd like to see more similar content in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.